In this video, we're going to tackle the question, how many email integers between 4,000 and 7,000 have four different digits? This question is from the AIME. To solve this question, we need to consider several constraints. First, because the number has to be even, the ones digits has a five potential digits. They are 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Second, because the number falls between 4,000 and uh, 7,000, so limiting the thousands digit to three choices. They are 4, 5, and 6. Finally, for the hundreds and the tens digits, we have options ranging from 0 to 9. Here also 0 to 9. Given the all four digits have to be different, so let's consider two different scenarios. So let's see the first one. First one, the thousands digit is even. Then there are two possibilities, six, four or six. Then here either four or six. That means the two options, all represented by two, choose one. That's for the thousands digit. Now let's look at the ones digit. So originally we have five options here because one even digit already been taken here. So then here we have four choices left. So then we can say four choose one. Now let's look at the hundreds digits. Originally we have 10 options because the two digits already been taken. Then 10 minus 2, that's 8. So then we have 8 options left here. Or we can say just 8, choose 1. Likewise, for the 10th digit, so here we have 10 options. Because 3 digits already been selected. So 10 minus 3, that's 7. So 7 options left here. Or we can say 7, choose 1. Then combining all the possibilities, so then we have 2 choose 1 times 8 choose 1 times 7 choose 1 times 4 choose 1. Then we have here, then 2 choose 1, just 2. Then here, 8 choose 1, just 8. Then this one is 7, and this one is a 4. It gives us 448. That is the first case. So there are 448 possibilities satisfying the condition in this case. Now let's see the second case. Second case is when the thousands digit is our number. So that means we have only one possibilities, which is five. So then here is a five. Only one possibility. Or we can say just one, choose one. Now let's look at the ones place. Because originally we have five choices, but now we still have the five choices. So then here just five, choose one. Now let's see the hundreds place. So originally we have a 10 options. Two digits already be taken. 10 minus two, that's eight. So there are eight possibilities. Or we can say 8, choose 1. Similarly for the 10th digit, so then just uh, 10 options, but 3 digits already be taken. So 10 minus 3, that's 7. 7 possibilities, or we can say 7, choose 1. Combine all possibilities. Again, that's a 1, choose 1, times 8, choose 1, times 7, choose 1, times 5, choose 1. Then here we have... The first one, just one. Second one, eight. Next one, seven. Next one, five. It gives, gives us 280. Now, let's combine the two cases. Adding the two cases together. So then we have 448 plus 280. It gives us 
728. So 728, that is the answer for this question. So that means there are 728 even integers between 4,000 and 7,000. They have four different digits. Thanks for watching.